Hey, I got a little orange paint on my uh, fingers. You'll find out in a few minutes what that was all about. Anyway, I didn't do a little painting in the town today. I'm still working on my Middleton Place uh, painting. Um, but I was hired at a last minute for a mural for a client um, who had a little surprise that she wanted to do for her husband and said, uh, you have a Clemson paw ready for me for Thursday to surprise my husband with. So five foot by five foot. It's not too difficult of a project, but it was fun. The main thing is the layers and layers of paint that it takes. So, I worked all day on that. Well, technically, only a half a day. They weren't quite ready for me. Other painters were in there, and uh, it was a little discombobulated. But anyway, got through it today. I had a few exciting things happen the last couple days. As you all might have known, uh, my husband and I had celebrated 30 years uh, this past weekend of knowing each other. Our 30-year wedding anniversary won't be until the end of um, the summer in 2019, but we always uh, remember the day that we actually met. And so we took off for the weekend, and while we were gone, um, my speaking of my husband, I think we just peeped in. Anyway, or peeped out. I'm outdoors. We stopped by a gallery, and while we were there, we were just blown away by this one artist. His name is Philip Anthony. His work was amazing. You know that artist that you're looking at it thinking, is that a photograph or is that a painting? It was a painting. What's more is it's all black and white. And it's really, really cool. But what was really cool is that he was actually there as well. We saw him painting off in the corner. We approached him. Turns out he actually owns the gallery. Didn't know that. I had a really nice visit with him. He took a lot of time and talked to me as another, you know, artist. Not as accomplished as him, by no means. He gave me a lot of great advice and uh, we exchanged contact information so that he can kind of give me a little mentoring along the way. He asked me a question that I don't think I'd ever been asked before or had even thought of and it kind of stumped me. He said, Michelle, what kind of artist do you want to be? I'm like, I don't even know what that means. You know, I, I know I have my own style. I know that I paint a lot of murals enjoy children's spaces, but I know that I can do a lot more. I have so many different ideas in my head, and so when he asked me that, it was kind of a little life-changing for me because I just hadn't really pondered that thought. So I'm going to be experimenting with some things and see if I can answer that question for myself. I also got a special little gift, some of you already know because I posted a small video on my social media uh, from two of my closest friends, two of my best friends, they're a husband and wife, we've all been friends for you know, probably 35 years I think. They got me a Bob Ross bobblehead because I had posted the other day about how much I wanted that <laughs> and they surprised me yesterday with it so that was really cool. Today I came home and there was a package on the doorstep from Golden Acrylics Paints and they sent me a mug. Uh, it's really cool. It says Raw Java and on the side, it's kind of interesting, it says Golden Raw Java is made from a 100% caffeinated coffee. This produces a deep brown cowboy coffee with excellent stirability stirability. The emulsion dries to a dark raw umber stain allowing the beans to show their full color. Anyway, it's kind of an irony and they must have known me well because it's coffee and it's paint. 
You don't want to get them mixed up, but I love them both. So I'm really happy about this. Plus they also sent me several little products that they want me to test out. So this was a good day. Good day all the way around. And then of course I got to do the Clemson Tiger paw mural. Half of my childhood, I grew up right next to Death Valley where you could hear the games. Death Valley, if you're not familiar with Clemson, Clemson University, that's where you play football, is at Death Valley. My school growing up, I can only think of two people who were Gamecock fans and they were razzed. I won't mention names. Some of you who were my classmates might watch this video and go, oh yeah. Everybody else was a Clemson fan. You just, that was just a rule. So you had to wear orange. Burgundy was a no-no. Anyway, uh, so that was my day today. Uh, so I wanted to catch you up and even though I didn't do painting the town, I was quite busy with my art. Next week, we'll get back to the Middleton place and painting. And so I guess I'll let you go for today. I think I'm done. I hope my videos are getting better. I'm learning a little bit more about editing and I'm trying to condense the time. So if you have any tips or anything that you want to share with me, I really would appreciate it because as far as the filming and the editing and all this other stuff, it's a lot to take in. Comment below, thumbs up, like, share, do all that good stuff. You know, I don't have to tell you. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.